Hi you guys, this is Willow Bradner and welcome back for our Tip Dapper Tuesday. Um, I'm here with my good friend Melissa Wallach and she's with melissawallach.com. She? To me, she's the brain doc. She knows everything when it comes to cognitive behavior and thought process as well as linguistics. And so I'm going to let her kind of take the cake on this one because it's not my language. Go ahead. Explain <laughs> to the people who you are. <laughs> All right. So I am by education a speech language cognitive therapist, but by passion a brain health advocate, a cognitive strategist, and someone who really wants to inspire others to take care of their brain and their body. So she's real smart is what I'm getting at. <laughs> <laughs> so here's, here's... We all have right. our moments. <laughs> totally. I know. <laughs> so for our viewers, um, I'm really, really focused on helping us get through the current political climate. I'm really focused on how do we positively spiritualize this thing up because... Again, it's real easy to, to stay in faith, to stay in trust, to stay in the positive spaces when things are really good. So what advice would you give our folks today, or maybe above advice, what would you actually diagnose and help a client out with who's really struggling and suffering emotionally in this space? So I really have seen a lot of clients coming in and you can see how affected and overwhelmed they are by the political climate. And even when you said we're going through the question, I felt myself do a really deep breath. <laughs> you know, like, okay, let me reground myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when looking at that, I mean, I have a few pieces of advice that I certainly give to people. Yes, and one is what I automatically did mm -hmm. is really getting back in the body taking those deep diaphragmatic breaths, feeling our feet, our rear end in the chair, and really being grounded. It's very easy to almost leave your body in fear and stress and overwhelm. And we are getting bombarded cognitively, whether it's the news or social media or the radio. There's a lot of information coming at us right now as far as what's going on in politics. So my next recommendation would then be to go on a news or social media diet. Yeah. You know, a little bit of a cleanse. That's a really so, great... So, you know, setting a timer and saying, I'm going to take 20 minutes and see what's going on in the world right now. And after that, I'm focusing on me and my world. Mm -hmm. So as you know, I call our energy and our time and our personal cognitive abilities my brain dollars. And I don't like to waste my brain dollars on things that I won't get an investment back on. Absolutely. That really won't be a deposit and withdraw balance. And so when I'm looking at that thing, I really go, okay, now I've spent 20 minutes. I know what's going on in the world, so I know why everybody's freaking out or not. <laughs> and then I say, what can I do about it? Is yeah, there what something can we do? proactively <laughs> that we can do about it? Mm -hmm. Well, there is actually something that we can do. I mean, truly, if we want to feel empowered, that's when petitions aren't as helpful anymore. But we can get our use our voice mm -hmm. and get on the phone mm -hmm. and leave messages for congressmen and senators. Mm -hmm. And when you do leave messages, you want to do that locally in their local office, state office, as well as in the DC office. But that's one thing that you can do, even if it's just one phone call a day, do that you, you think feel that, like, I did something today. Do you think that cognitively that will make people feel more empowered or more in control of the situation if they're to get involved versus just read about it and stay in the periphery of it? I really do think action shifts fear. Mm-hmm. And we do need to feel like we can do something. Yeah. And they do have staffers there who are answering the phone and they're tallying what issues people are concerned mm -hmm. about. And truly, certain groups are much more verbal mm -hmm. than others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it's time for some of us to really find our voice mm -hmm. and speak up. And stay in action. Yes. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Thank you. If you guys have any more considerations or questions for Miss Melissa here, please visit her website at melissawallach.com. Thank you guys. We'll see you for next Tuesday.